Okay, a quick video, I hope, um, of comparing the amp draw and power of my two uh, 10208 V2s, and you can see them down here. There's the first one that I bought, and then this second one here. So why do I want to do this? Well, I want to do it because I've always thought right out of the box that the second one, this white one, uh, just wasn't as powerful as the first, not by a long way. It wouldn't do mental wheelies like the first one does, even on 100%. Um, so I thought I'd just test it. And what I'm going to use is my 200 amp meter power analyzer, okay? And I'm going to put that between the battery and the ESC. Uh, and I'm going to do some different tests on that because one car's got road tires and what we didn't have but one car, the first one, has always had the off-road tyres. What I'm also going to do is try and do the test with two different batteries. So as you can see, I'm currently charging. I've got two batteries exactly the same, which are these ones here that are charging up now. ZP Compact 3340C and these ones here, which are the Z6200. 80C, or so it says. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to pull that back on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure peak amps current that's going through the ESC. And I think what that will do is dispel a few myths of just how much power these things are drawing. Um, along with the questions, should I use an XT60 connector or a different connector? One of these. So. I just, I just use that, you know, and I don't think it makes any difference whatsoever, but it will be interesting to find out. So that's, that's the reason for the video. Batteries are going to get charged up and then we're going to get the wheels back on, put this little meter under the hood and then rip it up the road and see how we get on and what the, um, well, what the numbers tell us really. So that's what we'll do and I will prepare for that right now. Okay, so let's go and take this out into the road. Okay, so all we're going to do is probably go up the street, down the street, a couple of times, two or three times, to get the peak amp load. Let's get it to set up. about 50 mile an hour Righty ho, let's get some wheels put onto this and then we can go outside and raz that. Let's do it. Okay, so here we go. We've got the watt meter on here. Starting off with the 3340C battery and this is reset to zero. If yeah, you go. 16 volts. And for this, keep it fair, we're gonna just use the new top shell. We're not gonna be using that one because there's loads of weight all over that. We're gonna stick with this. So let's get this on here, like so. 
we're on. <laughs> I need to see <laughs> which transmitter are we actually going to use. I can't remember now. Is it going to be this one? I'm guessing it's not that one. No. Oh, hang on. Turn the bloody car on. Right. right. Uh, we're on. Let's get that on. Come on. There's just not enough hands. Okay, so we're on. All reset, nothing touched. Uh, we, we will try. We'll just try a little blip, make sure it's correct. Yeah, that is correct. That's the one we want. Let's go. Okay, so here we are with the results of truck one, the first truck I bought that's absolutely mental. It's, it's mad as hell, this thing. So let's have a look at, at this with the 3300 battery on it and see what results we're getting. Then I'm going to change the front tyres. So let's see. So we're getting. Let's start. Let's start when it goes around to the beginning. So we're getting seventy-seven point two eight amps, fourteen point eight one volts, one thousand sixty-two watts peak. Okay. So that's that's considerably more than the first truck, which I think was only what sixty. Yeah. Okay, so let's get this thing turned off. That was the second test with the 6200Z battery. Let's get it turned off. And I'm going to have a look at some of these, some of these numbers that we're coming up on here. Can we see them? Okay, let's start from here. I'm going to twig around. So 81.96 amps, 14.95 volts max. And 1120.7 watts peak. Okay, okay, let's uh, let's move this camera a little bit and uh, let's have a, let's have a little chat. Okie dokie. So the results are in. The conclusive testing has been concluded, uh, and the results are pretty damning to be honest for truck two which I always knew was nowhere near as quick nowhere near as rapid or or anything just not as good as truck one it, it didn't have the wow factor uh, and the results what I've got basically show everything um, they show the truck one the first one I bought uh, and then the truck two <laughs> the second one I bought and the Let's have a look. The, the the difference in amps used and the peak amps and the maximum watts that it would draw at once for the power. Obviously, more amps, more power. Uh, and then what I also did, <coughs> I worked out the actual power uh, of amps times watts to get power and gave that a sc and, and got that score as well. So where are we? I'm not going to bother with the off off road things because they you know the, it's pointless. But on the road we've got truck one maximum amps 77.28 that's with a 3300 4s 40c battery with a total max watts of 1062 whereas truck two was 59.71 amps with a maximum watt drawer of 831 so simple score we'll give it a power score so with the 3300 4S 40C battery, the score for truck one was 820. The score for truck two was 496. With the 6200 4S 80C battery, the maximum amp draw was 81.96, that's the peak amp draw. And the maximum watts was 1120. The truck two, was 58.9 watts, uh, sorry, amps, and 768 watts. So the scores there, using the 6200 battery, is 918 for the truck one, and 452 for truck two. Basically, the difference in percentages come out at 
with the 3340C battery, amps is 25.65% difference and the 6200 battery is 32% difference. Okay, and the watts, the peak watts were 24% worse for the truck 2 and the 6200 battery was 37% worse truck 2 was compared to truck 1 so they're the figures all the video and everything has all worked out and it's just it's just a bit of a shame so I'm going to contact MJX and Sirius RC because they may have some technical specs but it would be nice to know what have you got is my truck 1 absolutely bonkers batshit crackers and shouldn't be and truck 2 is the norm or is truck 2 just a bit duff interesting to find out anyway i enjoyed doing that test let's see if you can do the same